What if I told you the fertilizer you're using could be holding your tomato seedlings back? That your lush garden dreams might just depend on picking one right bag, from many lookalikes on the shelf? Today on Makirakacha TV we're entering the ultimate fertilizer showdown for tomato seedlings. It's science, it's real, and it's about to change your garden game forever. Subscribe now to witness the truth unfold. Welcome back soil warriors and tomato lovers. Today's mission is one every gardener faces, choosing the best fertilizer for tomato seedlings. The truth? Not all fertilizers are created equal. Many look great on the packaging, but what happens when the science speaks? We're putting five popular fertilizers to the test in a side-by-side -side challenge. You'll see the winners with your own eyes. Here are our five contenders, each carefully selected for their fame among gardeners and their promise of Juicy Tomatoes Compost Tea, 100% organic, brewed from decomposed plant material, low in NPK but rich in microbial life. 2020 Synthetic Fertilizer, a balanced powerhouse loaded with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Fish, emulsion, high in nitrogen with micronutrients known to boost early vegetative growth. Bone meal, phosphorus-rich, supports strong root development, worm castings, slow release, packed with beneficial microbes and trace minerals. Each has its claim to fame, but which one delivers real results for tomato seedlings? We created a controlled experiment using uniform tomato seedlings of the moneymaker variety. Each plant went into identical pots with the same soil mix. Then, each fertilizer was applied based on recommended rates. Watering was consistent, no additional nutrients added, indoor lighting and temperature kept stable. We tracked three key metrics over 14 days, height increase, leaf size and number, and color and stem thickness. No guesswork, just cold hard data. Day by day, subtle changes began. Some seedlings surged ahead, others lagged behind. The fish emulsion group shot up fast, tall and leafy by day 7. Bone meal showed sturdy stems but not much vertical growth. Worm castings delivered deep green leaves, slow but healthy. The 2020 synthetic performed consistently across the board, tall, bushy, and bright. And compost tea? Strong microbial activity but less impressive foliage. Let's break it all down. The 2020 Balanced Fertilizer takes the crown. Why? Let's look at the final numbers. Average height gain, 6.2 inches. Leaf count, 12 per plant. Color, vibrant green with no signs of nutrient deficiency. Its balanced ratio delivered equal support for root, shoot, and leaf growth, giving tomato seedlings the complete package for early stage development. Second place, Fish Emulsion. Fantastic for quick vegetative growth but lacking the phosphorus needed for strong root systems. Worm castings came third, excellent long-term results but slower performance over just two weeks. Mkira Kacha, tip. If you want fast, uniform seedling growth, go for 2020. But for organic growers, fish emulsion paired with worm castings can be a winning combo. Apply one teaspoon of 2020 per gallon of water every seven days. Avoid overfeeding, more is not better. Always water before fertilizing to prevent root burn. And for our organic friends, alternate fish emulsion and worm castings weekly for a balanced effect without chemicals. To our amazing viewers, thank you for joining this fertilizer face-off. Your time here grows more than tomatoes, it grows knowledge. If you found this experiment useful, give us a like, drop your favorite fertilizer in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more no-nonsense garden science. Hit that bell so you never miss the next secret to a thriving garden. This is Mikiri Kecha TV where we grow smart.